Hello, I'm Chris Norsworthy with the Woodlands Fire Department. I'm a battalion chief. Uh, we are at Pierce this week taking delivery of a 107-foot ascendant and also a, a puck pumper. Uh, this truck um, is going to serve as the Woodlands Station 8. Uh, they average about 2,000 calls uh, per year at that station. They run a quint. Uh, we run the quint concept. Uh, the Woodlands as a whole, we have eight stations. Uh, we service about 125,000 people and we're located 30 miles north of Houston. We'll start with the cab. We have a uh, Velocity cab. We chose that cab specifically for comfort of uh, the firefighters and officer. A lot of space in the cab. Um, we also uh, store our EMS equipment in the cab. So these two compartments are built for um, accessing uh, EMS equipment inside and outside. We're at ALS uh, first response department. Uh, we need our stuff climate controlled, uh, not only heat, also cold, so it's all accessible and climate controlled in there. Um, pretty simple to see there. In the cab we have four-man staffing, so uh, officer, driver, operator, and two firefighters. Air packs in the seat, very uh, easy to clean, type of flooring we choose and the type of seat covering is easy to, easy to wipe clean. Uh, this truck's equipped with a uh, auxiliary air conditioning along with the factory con uh, conditioner. We are able to plug it in in the station and keep our equipment climate controlled and also our gear cool in the hot summer months. Uh, we have a puck pump. Uh, we go with the puck for primarily extra storage, extra compartment space. Um, 1500 GPM. In this compartment, we uh, a couple cross lays, uh, inch and three quarter, two and a half dead lay, apartment lays, whatnot. Uh, pump panel, pump panel compartment, pretty clean, simple. We love to be able to shut the door, it makes it look real clean and uh, uh, from keeps it out of the weather. Above the outrigger, we got one cord reel, just electrical wire for whatever we need on scene. This is considered a chauffeur's compartment. Uh, various adapters, a uh, pony section of five inch, and also the uh, driver operator's bunker gear goes in here when he uh, reports to duty. We'll store a little giant ladder in this space. It's all the firefighting hand tools, axe, pig, Pro bars uh, swings out for extra storage for uh, various toolboxes, gas boxes, whatnot. This compartment, this compartment will have all of our RID equipment, um, mainly, primarily just the bag, some search uh, rope, a RID pack. We have the Tech Four T3. This is the first. Um, truck in the woodlands that has this. Um, we really elected to go with it for maneuverability. Uh, this apparatus specifically is replacing a single axle 75 foot. Uh, the TAC 4T3 again allows us for tight turning maneuverability and also adds some uh, compartment space for extra additional tools. This area here we were able to add a compartment for various tools. Uh, it is a quint. Uh, it runs out of a, a house, it runs medicals, fires, all the above. So we also want it to run as a truck company, so we'll store some uh, scoop shovels, squeegees, what not for water removal. One of the unique features of the rear, we chamfered the end for tail swing. Um, it allows us to, uh, some of the streets, uh, vehicles parked on the streets, we're able to maneuver around a little bit easier with the, the angled uh, rear bumper and rear of the truck. Uh, in the rear here, we're complementing ground ladders. We got two 35s, a 28, 20 foot roof, some 14 Fresno ladder, and uh, we'll, we'll outfit it with some New York hooks and pike poles. Being the Quint concept, we do carry 800 feet of five inch on here. Um, another unique feature we did is we cut our turntable short. Uh, one of the la couple of the other trucks we have. The turntable takes up the entire rear, and every time we load the five inch, we have to move the ladder, uh, turn to the side, and it allows the firefighters to get up there. 
with the turntable shorter, it allows the firefighters to repack the hose to get back in service for the ready response. Um, there's another compartment space, very similar to the other side. We'll store salvage covers and again, some of the long handled tools in this compartment. Uh, this, this compartment will be outfitted with uh, all of our saws, uh, electric powered fan, chainsaw, K12 saw, battery powered chainsaw, everything for ventilation basically. Uh, moving to this compartment here, um, just some extra extra lighting. Uh, some of the battery powered scene lighting will go in here. This is our high rise compartment. Um, we'll carry a few bundles of high rise, uh, two inch hose, um, and some various toolboxes again of some other other stuff. Right. This compartment, some additional storage. We'll have uh, some more fans, uh, some battery powered equipment. If uh, we've out updated a lot of our cabinetry with uh, plugs and uh, wires for um, the battery charging, multiple tools now are battery powered. We're keeping that in mind when we're building, specking our trucks out. Empty storage lot. We only did one quarter on the other side, or I showed y'all. Uh, and going with the puck design, this gives us the opportunity to add this compartment. Again, it's going to be an overflow of multiple tools, uh, different types of equipment we need. You already saw the cross lake compartment. Uh, firefighter, again, same side, uh, same as the other side. EMS door, accessible inside and outside. Uh, gas monitors, other types of CO monitors, whatnot. Velocity cab gives the officer a, a very uh, large amount of space that we're very happy with. Um, our gear and uh, space for our MDC and uh, everything in the front of the notch we put in the dash. We do have a uh, front bumper line. We do 125 feet of just a trash line, car fire line, whatever you want to call it. Um, it'll be stored in there. Uh, on the emergency lighting and the scene lighting for the truck, we've elected to go with the uh, FireTech headlight, FireTech scene lighting, and then all around the truck, we've gone with a series of Waylon uh, emergency lighting. Uh, I'd like to thank the Woodlands Fire Department, uh, the Apparatus Committee for putting the uh, work in for this, these two trucks here this week. Um, we really like to thank Siddons Martin um, and the Pierce family here. The hospitality has been great. Really looking forward to many more builds.